can see that down here. These poor guys are so lost about what this flag really stands for. They threw that on us, didn't they? They just they, threw it at us. They just yeah. hucked that at us. That's how close I mean, these no. guys are flying over us. I think so. I think we're looking pretty troublesome. That's why we're getting grenades dropped on us, huh? We made kind of friends with the security guard. He uh, ended up uh, befriending us a little and just kind of uh, gave us some info and he also passed on some of these uh, bullet things that they were shooting. I don't know what the heck they are. I've never seen anything like these in my life. Um, this freaking little contraption right here. It's a 5.56 five, round of some kind. I don't know what's in it. And then these little, uh, which would appear to be paint rounds, they're 9 mils. They were coming from down there, landing on the roof, dropping people, jumping out the choppers, doing this dark, pitch black, so we really couldn't see too much, but you could see the people. Um, and then they were no lights on the helicopters, very low. Um, they'd swoop out this way and go back towards the city in uh, unmarked SUVs, black windows. Um, and uh, about the end of it. Lots of questions from viewers about why several black helicopters were doing and why were they flying so low around buildings last night. We have learned those helicopters will continue in downtown Denver for the rest of the week. What you're seeing is real, April 10th through April 20th in Swansboro, North Carolina. This has been repeated across the country in the last two years. So-called urban warfare training in America. Of course, in the case of Swansboro, they actually pulled people over and searched their vehicles with the local police department. A local listener sent me this video of the Swansboro incident. You see, they take out groups of young officers from across the country in the Marine Corps and teach them that it's okay to go into American towns and cities and take over the city halls and search vehicles. In this training exercise, it became real. They become so arrogant, they just follow their orders and began to search people's vehicles. Well, here's some Marines training to search people's vehicles, and guess what? This is some poor Swansboro resident that had to come through the checkpoint to get home. Well, I'm glad the Marines are learning how to do their police work, and, well, here's two of the troublemakers now that they've apprehended. Hmm. But before you can set up your checkpoints, you've got to first move out and create a perimeter. Uh, 
I wonder what the government's so worried about in the future that we need to have all this training, training to take over our streets. 45. Down to 17. And then I want you to go down, down to uh, South Water Street to uh, 3.53. 